Well, Irma is an absolute beast overnight, strengthening to 150 mile an hour winds. That's a strong category four storm. And look at how big this storm is, symmetric. That eye is huge as well. And in case you're wondering, a category five storm starts at 157 miles an hour. So this is almost a category five storm. It's forecast to maintain category four strength, passing Puerto Rico, Hispaniola, the island of Cuba, and yes, it could split the difference here and get into the Gulf of Mexico. I honestly cannot think of anything that's going to make this thing take a turn to the north. It looked like there was going to be a front and a trough that came in that would swing it toward the Carolinas and Florida, but now the entire Gulf, including the For Florida Peninsula, needs to watch that storm closely. Here, quieter, cooler. 15 to 25 degrees cooler compared to yesterday morning. Upper 40s and low 50s right now. And we're going to stay below average over the next few days. Low 50s this morning, mid 60s by midday. Northwest winds gusting 25 to 30 miles an hour will keep us in the low 70s. Big picture, a couple clouds uh, squeezing through eastern Nebraska right now. Otherwise, it's very dry across the western U.S. A couple of cold fronts pushing across the east. Again, these were the fronts that could have turned Irma far out to sea if it slowed down a little bit. But with a ridge of high pressure building in over the middle of the country, there's not much that could keep that thing away from the Gulf. It's going to keep us dry as well. And cool enough with the dry air, we could fall into the upper 30s in the typical cold spots. Norfolk, Columbus, Fremont, Louisville tomorrow morning, low 40s elsewhere. And the next couple of days we'll have some chilly starts. Mid 40s across parts of the metro in western Iowa. Daytime high temperatures in the low 70s tomorrow. Maybe a top 10 day. 77 on Thursday, and then the temperatures continue to warm up as we get south winds back here through Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Low 80s for highs there, and only a 20% chance of rain, maybe a couple of light rain showers on Saturday.